I will admit that most of what I do is useless. <laughs> it is. I try and cache what I do in a bit of science, a bit of history, a bit of memoir, but really, when I say lowbrow, that's what I mean. What do we really add to the world as freaks? What do you learn from the bearded lady, the tattooed man, the freak? Well, I guess you could argue that in times of war, World War I, World War II, the Great Depression, diversion, distraction, no matter how dumb, is valuable. It allows you to unplug your brain. It becomes, I could be your guilty pleasure. I could be your naughty housewives of suburbia, whatever they're called this month. <laughs> Let me be your honey boo-boo. <laughs> Do not, ever. But it's not really useful in the bigger sense of the word. I'll cop to that, sure. There are, however, a few exceptions to that rule that my people, that the sideshow people, the freaks, don't give anything back to the world. In the late 1800s, Dr. Martin Courney, C-O-U-R-N-E-Y, Canadian-born physician, medical doctor, studying under a French physician in Germany. Everyone with me on that? <laughs> He invents a medical procedure. He calls it der Kinderstolt. The medical establishment does not accept his idea. Doesn't accept his data, completely writes him off. Dr. Martin Courney spends ultimately about 40 some odd years, almost 50 years, attempting to convince, attempting to change the mind of the medical establishment. And he did so in my world. Der Kinderstolt, I'm not stretching to make a point here. Der Kinderstalt toured and ended up at Coney Island in between the bearded lady and the fat man for 25 cents. You could walk in and see Der Kinderstalt. Der Kinderstalt, German. Don't worry, I only know this word in like six cuss words. <laughs> Kinder, kindergarten, kid, child. Uh, Stalt, aviary or hatchery. What Dr. Cooney invented is called the incubator. Yeah, 40 some odd years to collect data in the freak show to change their mind. 25 cents got you in. Oh, of course not if you're a woman with a sick child. Oh, no, no, every book I've read about Dr. Courtney says he is medically and ethically above reproach on this. Your 25 cents would underwrite the operation. He accepted none of this money, earning his trade in his profession. But you would bring your sick, your prematurely born or underweight baby in. The turn of the century, last century, it's a lot of people. Put your child into Kinderstalt. This hyper warm environment, took some of the stress of generating heat off the child, more importantly, isolated the child with its weak immune system. Passing it around the relatives is a great way to build its immune system once it has an immune system. <laughs> Isolate the kid for most of the day. The, the women would sit in the back and do whatever the early 1900s version of Sudoku was. <laughs> While away the day, knit, read the paper, listen to that newfangled wireless radio. At the end of the day, you take your baby and off you go. This is kind of cool that a mostly useless, fun, goofy, diversionary art form once gave something to the entire world. In this country, in this century, today, it's estimated that 30,000 human lives are saved using the Kinderstalt. Can you imagine how high those numbers were at the turn of the last century or are now in the developing countries where the incubator is just now arriving in his new technology? It's an amazing idea. There aren't many stories like that, though. <laughs> Most of it is just, you know, dwarf tossing and, you know, <laughs> get her done, you know, no, 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 no. 